So how much have you been able to actually get home in Louisiana throughout this whole like Dancing with the Stars thing? I've actually only been home twice since it started just because it's so crazy. Like it's, it's nearly impossible to get to go home just because we have practice seven hours a day and it's hard to find a time that we don't have like something going on. Yeah, I mean, it is definitely hard, but it just it just depends on, like, if you want to do good and on the show or not. Like, if you're fine with not doing very well, then you can go home as much <laughs> as you want. But if you, like, want to do good, you got to stay here. So. so it's definitely a perseverance thing, yeah. A little bit about uh, the book that you wrote and is coming out. The book? It's coming out October 28th. I guess that's Monday. I'm not really sure. <laughs> and so, it's hard to keep um, the days straight. <laughs> It seriously is. Like, it's so hard. I haven't been in school this year. I've been homeschooling. And so I never know the date. But anyway, the book is called Live Original. And, uh, well, my family has actually, like, nicknamed me the original since I was, like, five years old. So <laughs> that's where the name came from. But it's basically just about living your life who you are and not who the world tells you to be. Just who God created you to be. It's about, like, changing the world instead of letting the world change you. Get it? And so um, it's just basically an encouraging book, encouraging you and challenging you. And after each chapter, it has like a section where you put your input into it. So, you know, you kind of write your own book as you go and you challenge yourself in different ways. And I hope that it helps people grow a lot. So that's the goal behind it. Okay. Well, it sounds really cool. I mean, it sounds like something, especially given, you know, kind of what happened uh, this week on the show as far as, you know, wanting to maintain who you are rather than, you know, like you said, letting the world change you. Yeah. It sounds like it kind of ties in nicely. It does. It's a good example. Um, so speaking of the show, um, one of the things that I... <laughs> Sorry, Cheryl. <laughs> One of the things that uh, has kind of stood out to me as I've watched throughout the season, um, I've done recaps every week uh, where we just basically follow you. Uh, one of the things has been um, all of the kind of outfits and costumes that people get to wear. Um, it seems like you've kind of gotten the chance to wear some of the prettier ones and nicer ones. Um, and obviously uh, your dad kind of, you know, will talk about your dad kind of made headlines when people said that he had to kind of approve your costumes and stuff. So I wanted you to talk a little bit about, you know, kind of how, how the, the choices, um, how you guys make the choices over what you get to wear on the show. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is about the show is every week you get to design your own costume. So you have every input into your costume. You sit down with the wardrobe lady who's going to make it. And then she's like, tells you ideas and you agree or you disagree. So no matter what, like, anybody's wearing on the show, they chose to wear that outfit. And we have two wardrobe sessions before Monday night. So you definitely have all the say in your outfits. So, um, with my outfits, like, I would just take pictures of them and send them to my parents. They'd be like, hey, do you like it? Do you not? Um, stuff like that. And the people are so sweet. And they'll, like, definitely like, work around it. So there's no, like, you, you have a prettier one, you know, because you, know, you do it yourself. But, um... So, yeah, it's pretty fair, and everybody gets what they want to get. So. Okay, cool. Me, yeah, I like to be a little bit more modest and cover it up. <laughs> I'm going to get to the questions that our readers submitted. Um, the first one comes from Terry Meeks, and she asks, uh, what has been your favorite dance so far? Oh, gosh. I guess I would have to say my favorite dance is the Duck Dynasty dance, just because my whole family was there, and it, it was really fun. But uh, I don't know, last week's dance, it was so hard for me the whole week. Like, it was the hardest thing of the whole show for me personally. And it was hard to get down, and it was just stressful, and there were lots of tears. And so what, after I did that, it became like my favorite dance because I got through it, and we got a chin for it. And so that, that was probably the best feeling. But I think the Dark Dynasty dance as a whole with the family was my favorite. Yeah, that was probably one of my favorites too, honestly. I really also, I like just liked the choice of Pharrell for that, but I know you guys don't get to choose the song, so. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, this one is uh, from Maddie Schultzer. She asks, how hard is it to learn a completely different dance every week? Um, at, the, at first, it is kind of hard because you have to just like totally forget the dance you just worked on for a week. But um, I'm pretty good at picking up on a dance. So that's been something that has really helped me because I can get it fast, and then, but Mark just, like, drags me through it the whole time, honestly. <laughs> he drags me through it, like, the first two days, and I'm like, okay, I got it. Well, he but, seems um, like a really good dance partner. Oh, he is amazing. He's awesome. Another thing that helps is, like, we practice seven hours a day. So, you know, it, it seems hard to learn a dance in a week, but when you think about it and we, have, we practice seven hours a day, and you're like, oh, okay, I can do it, you know? 
yeah, that's that's prob- that's a lot more rehearsal than I expected, honestly. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like six, maybe like five, six to seven hours a day, and that's all for a one and a half minute dance. So. Yeah, it's like a full time job, basically. Oh, it is. Oh, it, it is. <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh, uh, let's see, Candace Haybecker, I'm probably butchering these names, um, asks, what is one of your guilty pleasures? My guilty pleasures? Yeah, like, you know, do you like eating cheeseburgers at, like, 2 in the morning? Or? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a weakness for popcorn and cornbread. Anything that has the word corn, but I say, I like corn, I like cornbread, I like corn casserole, I like popcorn. Like, I just love it. Like, I have to have popcorn every single day. Okay. Every day. And the butter popcorn, so it's very unhealthy. <laughs> okay. Um, Nola Girl 115 uh, says she's interested to hear if you've gotten to spend any time in New Orleans, uh, like your family, um, Saints games, or just visiting. Um, and then she also had asked about how you're dealing with school while dancing on the stars, but you mentioned that you're being homeschooled this year, so that answers that. But um, have you ever, yeah, have you gotten to spend much time in New Orleans, I guess is the question. Yeah, actually. I mean, I'm from Louisiana, so right. I've gotten to spend a lot of time in New Orleans. not like... Too much. I don't think that I've ever been to a Saints game, but we do go to the Dome for our school whenever they, like, win the state, and so I go then, and we went, like, past three years, so maybe I'll be there again this year. I guess it pays to have a good football team in high school. <laughs> it does. It does. Um, let's see. Uh, just making sure I'm getting these. Um, Christy Schwinn asks, what are your plans for the future? What are your plans for the future after Dancing with the Stars? Okay, I get this question all the time. And the thing is, like, I would not expect to be where I am now. Like, you know, like, five years ago, if you were to tell me I was going to be on a show called Duck Dynasty, I'd be like, are you crazy? Like, no. You know, so I don't know that I could say where I'll be, you know, after Dance with the Stars. I think I'm just going to have to leave it up to God and let him guide me. And, I mean, it's worked out for me so far. And so I think that's what I'm going to continue to do. Cool. Let's see. Well, thank you so much. I mean, that pretty much answers my questions. Unless there's anything else about the book or about Dancing with the Stars that you want to kind of plug or push or whatever, um, now's the time. Okay. Well, I just want to tell everybody, thank you so much for voting. And those who are going to buy the book, thank you because it means a lot. And with Dancing with the Stars, it's total fan base vote. Like, y'all are the people keeping me in this competition. And it really means a lot because we're having so much fun. So thank you for doing the interview. And thanks, everybody, for voting.